Hello there and welcome back commanders and commanderettes. Chesty Puller here with a quick video on the Survivor 100 token bases. This is a faster, easier way of doing it and you still maintain free repair. I start out by taking out the two bone saws. To do that I use a couple of Hades and a Jaggernaut to kill the dogs and an Audra to distract everything. And then once the uh, bone saws are dead, I just end attack. That's my only goal in that first attack. Now that the bone saws and the dogs are dead, um, even though you saw other dogs there, that's because after the dogs were dead, they split into other dogs. But the dogs themselves were actually dead and they don't regenerate after you kill the main dog. I'm using its electric here to stop the hammers. I use um, uh, my hotkeys on here because there's a lot of moving parts in these bases. And uh, just for safety, I've added the caretaker because uh, just in case I make a mistake, and there's a couple of places where I will want to maybe take a hit, and uh, the caretaker, if I do take a hit, um, it just makes it uh, far less dangerous. I'm not using a missile to take out the uh, airport in the back of the base and therefore I'm going to keep getting bone saws coming at me but all I do is I've got my hotkeys on and I keep moving my Audra around making sure that I that I draw the bone saw out in front of um, my phalanxes so that they will kill the um, the bone saw. Now this was a case where um, I normally don't do this, but that uh, Liberator started getting me, so I thought I'd go over there and take him out. I do regret doing that because there was a disruptor there that I usually use. Now, it turned out okay. I uh, didn't need that spot, but I've been so accustomed to just using the disruptors. I used to attack the wall as I did in this case because I killed the disruptor. But now I, that I discovered that disruptors are in the perfect location to take out all of those things in the back. I'll show you here that I, I do use some of the disruptors still. And I used Audra to draw out this hammer. This hammer is on aggressive. The other hammer on the other side of the base is on aggressive as well, but it's not in the front like this. It's all the way in the back. This one's way in the front right here and it will pose a problem for you. So I use my Audra to draw him out and to have him chase Audra while the um, <coughs> Phalanxes with uh, their its electric uh, op will uh, stun them. You see that there's a, a flood and an overwatch here with a, with a bunker in between them. That's my objective. I want to take out those three buildings. And I got too close, so the bunker got me. But it just got my caretaker, which is free repair. If it had gotten my Jaggernaut, that would have been bad news because that would have been a pretty decent uh, repair time. <clears throat> now I'm coming back in without going back to my base. I sent a couple of units back, but I'm, I'm just coming in here really quick because I want to take out these last two bone saws that are not generated bone saws. They're, they're constantly there. <clears throat> don't really need to take the one out on the other side but this one I do need to come and take out because I want to get rid of this uh, rocket silo and uh, <coughs> I can't uh, do it as easily when the bone saw is there so everything is free repair so far there's just a few seconds worth of damage <coughs> on everything this is the one time I come back to my base before I finish this token base
It would be difficult to do this base without using your hotkeys. If you don't know how to use your hotkeys, <coughs> it is... Uh, shift and then one, two, three, or four, whatever <coughs> hotkey you want to use. I'm only able to use four hotkeys. I think that's the maximum. And then I use my Vindicators to come up and take out that <coughs> rocket silo because the rocket silo isn't going to target my Vindicators because they are not unique. I want to take out that rail and now here um, is where I will use the disruptor. The disruptor is in a perfect location. You can see that the second disruptor that would have normally been to the left is missing. And then notice that I shoot that the uh, um, support turret located behind the hunter missile. Not the hunter missile itself because if you take out the hunter missile itself you won't take out the bastion. So you want to take out the um, support turret behind. Now normally there would have been a disruptor that would have been in a perfect location for me to take out the rest of the the uh, buildings and uh, turrets there and I would have been able to take them out with one shot but right now I'm gonna have to do two carefully placed shots and I didn't get hit so uh, that's fine and it's also my objective to not kill that technical that technical is very important because I can kill all that other stuff by shooting that technical. Also, I need to take out that second bastion by hitting the end of the wall there and then coming in and taking out the CC and then the producing uh, war factory, the producing uh, airport, and the producing barracks. After this, the whole base is uh, essentially um, harmless to me so I can put everything on aggressive we can just go around here the only thing I have any damage on is just a few seconds worth of damage on uh, one of my caretakers because I made a mistake and got too close on that first barracks uh, not barracks but the bunker Just double checking that uh, my Hades did all of the repair. When I go back in, I should just have uh, the one damage unit. So I hope this was helpful. And uh, you guys have a good one out there.